Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 86, Perceptor. Now, I just got Perceptor in from Entertainment Earth thanks to a pre-order, and I am tickled to death. I didn't realize he was going to be out so early, and I cannot wait to open this guy up and check him out because really... We haven't had a good Perceptor in years. I think the closest one we had was in the Titans Return line, and he was still kind of meh, but man, did he go up in price. So anyway, taking a quick look at the packaging, we got Transformers Studio Series 86, Perceptor right there behind the plastic, some great looking artwork, and Perceptor is very happy to be running off into battle. More artwork of Perceptor right there. On the back, you see Perceptor in tank mode, microscope mode, and robot mode. This side of the box, more of that great looking artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this scientist opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Studio Series 86 Perceptor all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with a blaster that looks very reminiscent to his old G1 toy. He comes with this backdrop right here that shows the Battle of Autobot City. So if you do have the room on your display shelf, you can put Perceptor right there and display him as such. And I just now noticed the number beside the Studio Series 86, 11. So Perceptor is Studio Series 86, 11. Took 11 figures for me to notice that. So now let's take a closer look at Perceptor himself. Now, before I start going over Perceptor here, I do wanna point out one thing. I am from the South. So I'm gonna be calling Perceptor, Perceptor, not Perceptor. So there we go. That's out of the way. Now, taking a closer look at this guy, he is amazing looking. He is spot on to his animated appearance, both in the television show and the movie. Great sculpting all the way around. And I love the fact the face sculpt is very stoic looking instead of so jovial as on the package art. I just can't get over this guy. He looks so good, and he feels good, too. He feels like a more solid quality plastic than the other figures. That may just be me. As I said, lots of sculpted details all over. Very few paint applications, though, but what he does have really works. Up here on the head, he's got a yellow crest, blue eyes, silver face. He's got an Autobot logo right there, but that is behind this translucent plastic shield. So you fold that down. You got the Autobot logo right there. I like how solid that is. Paint applications here for the dials on the forearms, and those are static. They do not move. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. Up here on the shoulder cannon, that's a static dial as well, which is kind of disappointing because I always liked how the old Perceptor, you could focus the microscope back and forth. But, oh well. So all in all, he looks really, really good. Very impressive figure. Now, on the back, he does have a big gap right there for 
transformation. That's very unsightly, but nothing I can't live with because, well, I don't pose my figures like that. But I do know of a 3D printing buddy of mine who is making a cover for that. But like I said, for me, no big deal. Now, articulation for Perceptor, the heads on a ball joint can look up and down slightly, can do a complete 360, but the shoulder cannon is going to get in the way. And speaking of shoulder cannon, this thing has tons of articulation. You unsnap it right here, and this thing can move up and back and forward. And listen to that. Ratchets. I love ratchets. You don't have enough ratchets in figures anymore. And of course, it locks into place just like so. So you won't be doing that accidentally. Arms can go out. They can go in. They can do a complete 360 as well. There is a shoulder rotation or excuse me, bicep rotation. No wrist rotation. Waist rotation. Legs can go out. They can go in. There's a knee bend. Forward back and kind of a foot tilt not a full ankle because you got that section right there there's also a hinge right there but that's for transformation but it's kind of loose so i've caught myself a few times when i pose him i give him a bow-legged look so now let's go ahead and get perceptor transformed into microscope mode and it's a fairly easy transformation. First thing we'll do, let's go ahead and unsnap the shoulder cannon and rotate that out of the way so we can get the head in that big gap. So rotate the head around and just snap that into place like so. Now you're going to take the arms and bring these down on these little blue hinges right there. Make sure you rotate the arms up and bring those down like so. Now you got this little section right here. You're going to flip this up and over, and that's going to bring the microscope here to the middle. There's also a tab here on this side. You're going to bring this up and see that tab right there is going to go into that slot right there. So you've got that locked into place. Go ahead and take the fists, fold these in, and see the slot right there on the forearm? That's going to slot in to that peg right there. It's kind of a soft snap. Do the same with the other side. Get that fist flipped in. So now we've got the top half done. Go ahead and flip the chest plate down. That has a very tight joint right there. Love that. Now for the legs, you're going to bring the legs forward and out like so. Now, using that hinge I just talked about earlier, bring the legs in, fold the feet down, bring this section up right there, and there you have Perceptor in microscope mode. And that is awesome. I love that. But like I said, I miss how you could dial or focus in the microscope. That's Kind of disappointing. The one complaint, the only complaint I have with this figure. Microscope mode, it is what it is. There's no new paint applications, no new sculpted details whatsoever. It is a microscope. And for a fun comparison, here is Studio Series 86 Perceptor with his G1 counterpart. And like I said, check this out. Come on, Studio Series 86. Why couldn't you have done that? Now, I did forget to mention, you can look through the microscope, but it's a blur. You can't focus on anything. I even popped my old readers on to see if I could see anything. That was a no-go. And almost the same with the original Perceptor. If I can focus on anything. You could see through him. Where is it? There we go. But still, wasn't great. But that is a fun comparison right there. I love the fact that we now have a Perceptor that turns into a microscope. Now Studio Series 86 Perceptor also has another mode that is a throwback to the G1 toy, his tank mode. So what you're going to do is rotate the legs back around and now you're going to bring them up and very simple, once you spread them out like this, you've got these pegs right there or those holes in his leg that's going to peg in to this little hole 
right there below the dial. So you want to angle that down to get that lined up in that hole right there. Go ahead and peg that in place and peg the other. So there you have Perceptor. So he even has tank treads in his tank mode. And for me, when I was in the military, I was in artillery. This looks more like an artillery piece than a tank. I guess if you can fold the barrel or move the barrel down like so, he could roll around. But I think he's more of a howitzer that could lay down suppressive fire. And really the only change with this mode is you have those molded in tank treads right there that actually look really good. I mean, it's a fun mode and a nice throwback for us old G1ers. And for another fun comparison, here is the G1 toy in its tank mode. So its tank mode is a little bit more like a tank because you get extenders right here that extend the base of the tank. Plus he has wheels. So that works a lot better. I, I think the G1 pulls the tank off a lot better than the 1986 Studio Series 86 version. But like I said, it's still fun that they added that. I almost forgot to show off Perceptor's weapon here. And like the rest of the figure, I really like this. This is a nice throwback to the original Generation 1 weapon. The only thing the Studio Series one is missing is the little scope right there. So we can go ahead, put this in Perceptor's hand. And now we have Studio Series 86 Perceptor all armed and ready for battle. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 11 Perceptor with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Perceptor, and for those of you who didn't know, the original Perceptor had a mouth plate and not a face. Let me get his head up there a little bit more. So, fun fact for you real quick. Titan's Return Perceptor and I want to point out that the Titan's Return Perceptor does have a couple things I wish Studio Series had. The barrel can extend and rotate left and right. So a couple things there I wish that he had. So, and also look at the size difference. We're complaining about sizes now. And his Transformers the Movie Battle Buddy Kingdom Blaster. Transformers Studio Series 86 Perceptor is a great Transformers toy. I have no complaints with this figure whatsoever other than the minor nitpicks with his microscope not being able to focus. Other than that, this guy is perfection. He is a fun transformation, fun alt modes, great throwbacks to the original Generation 1 toy, and he looks spot on to his cartoon counterpart. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 8611 Perceptor. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 8611 Perceptor belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. This is now one of my top tier Studio Series 86 Transformers. I love the guy. He is just awesome. And most importantly, he is fun. Fun transformation, fun alt modes, just spot on to the animated look. Hasbro, you knocked it out of the park with this guy right here. If you see a Perceptor on this shelf, do not hesitate. Pick this guy up. You are going to love him. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ha!